to the great target shoot. Every target wins a prize. You haven't got a gun? Never mind. I'll show you how to design one and to make one. Let me take a moment. And you start with good stiff cardboard, like that. A sheet of it, or an old box, something of that kind. Let's clear the decks and I'll show you how to design it, because it really is very simple. Get a ruler and a pin, and the barrel is done by going straight along the top of the cardboard. Make it a fairly wide barrel, that gives the gun strength, because you're going to be shooting rubber bands with this. Okay, there's the barrel going across there. The handle comes down at an angle to it. You may have to experiment a bit to find the one that works best, but the principles are very simple, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. And then across here for the end of the butt. Looks a bit long there, I'll drop it off. You notice I'm using straight lines. The reason is that you have to cut that out. And it's easiest to cut it out with scissors as long as it's straight lines. Because uh, curves are a cardboard cutter's curse. You have a lot of trouble trying to make the scissors go around the corner. But if you do it like this, you see you can go in along there, and then let's swap to one that's almost finished. Finish that cut, turn it round, you just have to go up the straight lines. You don't have to turn any corners at all, and hey presto, the thing will positively fall out at your feet without crumpling. Okay, I'm racing this a bit, but you'll see that the idea is to get a cardboard shape of that form. In fact, the idea is to get two cardboard shapes of that form. Here they are, already cut out. So let's get rid of that and cut the last bit of cardboard that we're going to need, which is the trigger. I'll work on just one side here. Well, the trigger has to be a rectangle of cardboard. In my case, it's about as wide as the butt, but whatever happens, it's got to sit on top of that piece of gun like that, so that you've got a trigger to pull up in front of the, the butt here, and the top part of the cardboard will rise up above the gun if it's pivoted there. So you pull the trigger, and up it goes, like that. Show you again, pull the trigger, and up it goes. And put your finger on the pivot spot, and mark it by pressing through with the point of the scissors. Here we go, through the trigger, and hard down into the gun itself. As soon as you've made a mark, drill those through, so that they are big enough, the holes in each of them is big enough, to take one of these things that you use for holding paper together, one of those split clip things. Okay, through the trigger, through the gun behind it, and through the other side of the gun by putting the two together and making a mark with the scissors and drilling through that too. Don't put the scissors into your fingers behind it. These scissors are fairly blunt. There we go, and if you've got it right, you should be able to make a sandwich. The gun there, the trigger in the middle, the pin going through both, like that, and then onto the other side of the gun behind it. I'm not going to bend that over yet because I want to test it. Here we are, get the trigger in position. You can see as I pull it, it comes up from the top of the gun. That's terrific. Now I know it's going to work. I hold those pieces of gun together, and with my pin, just across there, where the trigger comes up, I make a mark, and this has to be accurate, it has to go on both sides of the gun. Then I pull them apart, and I make a little notch there, and it's a notch that has a straight edge at the front, like this, there we are, and a sloping edge at the back. The back's not so important, but the front edge is, because that's where the rubber band rests. Okay, there's that side, and now there's this side, and if I'm accurate, it doesn't matter which side of the gun is which, I then put the whole thing together as a sandwich, and that's the completed version. So here we go. Paper clip through there, through the trigger, through the other side of the gun, and at this stage I can bend it over. And you can see, yeah, everything's right, that trigger comes up through the notch. Well now I'd just bind the thing together and I'd stick it down with sticky tape. That'll take a while, so I'll show you the finished one I've done here. Stuck together so nothing can move, no sticky where the trigger comes up, but at this stage I pull the trigger down and I can get a rubber band and hook it over the front of the gun back into that notch and you can see the way it works. If I pull the trigger up, it pushes the rubber band out of that notch and pow, goes forward. So now for the real thing. Push the trigger down again, Put the rubber band on the front, back on the notch, and we're ready. And remember, every target wins a prize. Curiosity.